Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about a key theme for our time, and that is GIS helps. GIS helps. Greetings. The focus of this video is the theme, GIS helps solve problems. GIS helps solve problems. What sort of problems? Well, I've brought in my twin brother, Joseph, to help me explain it. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Isn't it odd that our parents gave us the same name? How did they know who was who? Well, I'm smarter, but I know more 70s bands. Yes, but do you know 10 years after? I loved them. Me too. What's not to love? ELO, Olivia Newton-John, Seals and Crofts. Okay, you win. Let's dig into a few problems here, but these are the ones that come to my mind and my mind. We encourage you to use your creative energy to investigate how GIS can help with solving a problem that you would like to address. This theme is almost a no-brainer, isn't it, Joseph? GIS was created in the first place to solve problems, beginning in Canada with problems of how you can most efficiently use rural land in the 1960s. It very quickly spread to solving urban problems as well as problems in transportation logistics. Say you have a thousand buses in your metro area, as well as a million people or half a million people depending on them every day. What are the ideal routes for those buses, as well as the ideal stops? Energy, where should hydro or solar power be developed? Water, how to ensure a safe drinking supply and an adequate supply for industrial, commercial, and residential use. Habitat, plants, animals, planning, how to best plan an economically viable and sustainable neighborhood or set of neighborhoods, or tourist destinations, uh, commercial and, and industrial parks, road, light rail, bus, railroad lines, airports, health, citing optimal locations for clinics and doctor's offices, assessing human health variables at different scales, economics and trade, supply chain management, business logistics, public safety, and many other disciplines, literally from A to Z, right, Joseph? Yeah, A to Z. Precision agriculture, so the A, and zoology, habitats, including those that are threatened and what we can do about it. So literally A to Z. Indeed, key to solving problems are workflows, which in turn are made up of tasks. Many GIS problems in a variety of disciplines that Joseph just mentioned have some common workflows and tasks. Absolutely. Let me illustrate a few. Let's say you want to gather data from citizens in a crowdsourcing or citizen science mode, analyze the resulting patterns on a map, and use that information to make decisions or recommendations. One way to accomplish this is to set up a field survey using Survey123. Crowdsource it, create a map in ArcGIS Online showing the results, analyze the spatial patterns showing the results using ArcGIS Online analytical tools, such as Summarize Within, Enrich, Merge, create hotspots and, the, and then communicate the results that lead to actions by creating a story map, let's say, or by using the experience builder or creating other types of web mapping applications. Indeed, well said. Another common task is that you have data in a spreadsheet that you want to map and analyze. Easy to do. Build in some sort of location element to your spreadsheet. Latitude, longitude, city address, city country combination, etc. Add that spreadsheet to an ArcGIS online session on the web. Symbolize it, classify your resulting data on the map, save the map, share it, and then use the analysis tools to help you understand any resulting spatial patterns. Again, quite doable in hours, not weeks or, or months. A third common workflow is that you've got an unregistered aerial photograph or historical map, and you want to bring it into a system where you can understand change over space and time. Again, easily accomplished. Geo-register the unregistered map in ArcGIS Pro. Save the results and compare the newly registered map or image to current data in a map inside ArcGIS Pro or ArcGIS Online. You could create a side-by-side -side swipe map as well in either of those tools. A fourth common set of tasks is that you want to add real-time or near real-time data from an IoT, Internet of Things, streaming data service. Again, quite doable. Get the REST endpoint URL address for that data service, and in ArcGIS Online or in ArcGIS Pro, add that URL that points to the data service. And now you've got Streamflow, 
traffic, wildfire perimeters, recent earthquakes, health cases of a certain illness, or other data at your fingertips. A fifth common set of tasks is that you want to plan a new bicycle lane, HOV lane, or light rail line in a city. 2D and 3D tools can help you visualize the results of that plan, present it to stakeholders, and decide on an optimal plan among several different alternatives. Hence, GIS helps you solve problems. You said it. No, you said it. Thanks.